Welcome, welcome, welcome. I think our record in this format is pretty decent so far. I'm enjoying it. It's also been fun, so. Thank you. Gaming Champ, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Welcome back. 12 months. That's a good amount of time. That's basically the most time you could ever spend in a whole year. Just want to let you know that my wife and I are hooked on MeUndies because of you. They're very comfy and I keep getting more nice. Unfortunately, MeUndies ended the sponsorship program they were doing with streamers and stuff. So I will not be getting any credit for that. But I, I'm super glad you found the, the product and really, really like it. They're, I agree with you. They're very comfortable. So uh, what do we got here? So Fodder Cliffs, Neil Spires, Lands are nice. I had fun with the Teamer deck we, we did. High Sentinels is pretty nuts, too. What's the Abzan is the uh, the uh, the counter deck, I guess. Hmm. Jolt Jolt is also pretty nuts. Jolt is really strong. Pretty because not you spell creatures you control gain life link until the turn. That's just good too. High Sentinels like this puts us in, straight into Jeskai. I'm take High Sentinels. It leaves us open. Like, we can be Abzan, we could be Jeskai, we could be... There's got to be one more. Mardu. All of those are fine. And High Sentinels is very strong. Okay, Dune Blast. Well, if we are Mardu, this card seems bonkers. And by Mardo, I mean Abzan. Yeah, we're taking Doom Blast for sure. And then hopefully Newscraft Mob comes back. That'd be great. Almost all of it is good. All of what? Almost all of what, T Jess? T T T T Jesse! Monastery Mentor, Ivory Tusk Fortress, okay. I'm feeling all right. This would be good for our Jeskai deck. Uh, our Shadow is destroy a creature that's one or more colors. So this pretty much kills anything. Untap each creature, kill most of the Five, seven for five is just huge. The Meme Cube? Why is it called the Meme Cube? I think this cube is great so far. I've been really enjoying it. I think it's I think we take Reach and then Ivory Tusk comes back. That's what I'm hoping for. Reach seems solid. Goblet Shrine. Oh yes. Let us godless shrine. Excellent. 
Also, if that temple comes back. I, I, Mentor is great, but I think in the counters deck, we're not really going for Mentor. Obsessive Skinner is fantastic. If we're putting counters on things, let's Obsessive Skinner. Harden Scales and Animation Module and a Temple Garden? Come on. Oh, man. I bet the module comes back. If one or more counters be placed on a thing, put two instead. Works with you, works with you. Kyers, thank you so much for the resub. Welcome back. Oh, God, Temple Garden, though. Guys, Temple Garden. Whenever another Warrior Hunter's Battlefield, put a 1-1 counter on this guy. This, this pack is stacked. Man, we are going deep on the counters here. I think it's Harden Scales, but Harden Scales doesn't do anything on its own. I think Module is better than than Scales here. Maybe. Ugh, I don't know. I'll take the Harden Scales. Whatever. I don't know. Temple Garden is probably also the pick. I don't know, man. That that pack was, was really hard. I want to take a picture and send it to my friend Andrew because we have a, a Hooting Mandrels meme. And as for the card we're taking, could just be Radiance Judgment. Solid removal. Probably better than Obsidat's aid. It also cycles. Yeah, that's good. That'll do. Abzan Ascendancy. Abzan Ascendancy is fantastic. Wow. Uh, this guy has Megamorph, so... Yeah, this deck's looking sweet. Durable Handicraft. Uh, oh, the new Scraft Mob came back too. Wow. Open your folder named memes. Uh, I think we want the new scrap mob over the handicraft. Oh, wow. Ivory. Okay. Ivory, Ivory Tusk Fortress came back. Sure. So, Sorilus goes on three. This is this deck looks insane. Uh, I do like a Tusk Guard Captain. I don't care about you. And it's a warrior, so we got that warrior sub theme. Animation module comes back. Wow. This is this is pack one. <laughs> this is unreal, dude. Maybe the Temple Garden will come back. No, that was in the same pack with the animation module. Secret, secret. Wow, this pack is actually terrible for us. Irish and Foremost. When enters battlefield or attacks, another warrior gets double strike. So it's basically Silverblade Paladin. Uh, Filigree Familiar. Meh. Salty Emissary is probably just fine. It's just a 2 2 for 2. But that makes another 2 2 when it dies. I think that's actually probably the best thing here. Like, we want to make sure we have some early stuff. Filigree is also nice because it puts a creature and an artifact in the graveyard for Obsessive Skinner. <laughs> it 
pack no longer stacked. Yeah, well, thanks a lot, right, right, right into being. You hot you piece of junk. How is majesty? What does that mean? Um, Maybe not bad in our deck, actually. Got Ivory Tusk, New Scrab Mob. This guy is probably easily going to be a four. We are running out of time, though. I'm probably just going to take the one one. Hooded Hydra. Hail Hooded Hydra. Do, 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 do. My name's Andrew. I sent you a text. Why don't you finish your stream? Then come get me. We can go food back to your house and online drop. Yeah, that sounds good. Yeah, I think Hooded Hydra is probably the sweetest, right? It comes with counters. It's a counter card. Cast Out is good. Silent Spectre has been great. And uh, I'm going to take this. Got him. Ooh, Corpse Jack Menace. Ooh, Corpse Jack Menace. Ooh, I can just keep doing this, guys. Corpse Jack McMenace. Uh, choose up to one target creature and opponent controls each creature you control the pulse muscle cannot deal with the damage you go to the power of that creature. This card seems fantastic as well. Wow. If 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 uh Golgar Guildmage wheels, yeah, Golgar Guild Mage would be would be good. Also Mortify. Hmm. Uh I think Judgment is better than than Savage Punch because this actually puts counters on things. But this might come back. Mortify probably not coming back, and Mortify just seems very, very good unfortunately I mean fortunately because it's good but unfortunately because no I'm just going to take Caves of Coilos here secret secret I've got a secret Uh, at least scale guard enters battlefield bolster too. Whenever a creature you control the plus one, yeah, yeah. This card, this card's great. Battle brawler is also fine, but I don't think taking scale guard is even going that deep. This is just going average, regular level. Man, look at all these counters matter, dude. Hardened scales, animation module, corpse jack menace, Abzan ascendancy, obsessive skinner. Destroy all creatures of power greater than target creatures' power. I don't I don't mind lay bare the heart. Non land non legendary is pretty broad. Yeah, there's nothing else in here that I really care about. Splash Zergo. I don't think so. Anok Bonkin can get counters. Chief of the Edge affects our warriors, which we seem to have a good amount of. We got Tuscard. We have Actually I guess we don't. I guess we don't have that many warriors. We got like three, two, uh, zombie warrior, Mardu, and uh, Tusk Guard, I guess. Bondkin does give first strike, which is huge. Whisper of the Wild's also nice because it adds mana. I'm just gonna go with the the creature here. Well, this pack is poop. I'll take Arish and Foremost. Yeah, I thought there already was a Legendary Cube. I'm pretty sure they already did a Legendary Cube on, uh, on Magic Online.
Uh, put a one-one counter on Chroma Chro Chronomaton. I think that's probably right up our alley. Probably better than Death Frenzy. I don't know. Uh, Bloodshed Fanatic's actually great. That's a solid, that's a solid 3-3. Three, three. It actually has nothing to do with our deck, though. I'll just put it over here. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't, it doesn't have counters, and we don't really have... Oh, Nissa's Judgment came back? I was hoping for that. Excellent. Oh, none of these are exciting. Take Righteous Cause? I don't know, man. The internet is better. I'm super thrilled that it got taken care of. Somehow. Yeah, we have only we only have two uh I, I oh no, we are not we are not Mardu. Sometimes you forget, you know. Okay, Llanowar Wastes is probably the pick, but there's a Siege Rhino and an Abzan Charm. How strong do I need to be? It's just Siege Rhino, right? It's just totally Siege Rhino. This will probably come back. I don't really feel like people are going to be prioritizing land war waste that high. I mean, that's an ambitious... I don't think I'm passing a siege rhino, though. Armament Corp. No fixing here. Marty Strike later now. I don't care. It's not token based. Experiment one is interesting. Return a creature from your grave, put one one counter on it. Armament Corp is great because you put two one one counters on things. It's a four four and you put two counters on creatures. Uh, we do have a lot of five drops at this point though. But with like animation module and hardened scales, this guy gets better. Yeah, I'm gonna take this guy. Oh, Blooming Marsh. Okay, we're definitely taking that. Don't care about Dead Bridge Chant. Yeah, that's that's fine. Herald of Anafenza is great. Maybe it'll table, but I don't have the luxury of passing a Blooming Marsh or a Temple of Plenty, as far as I can tell. Temple's better than Jungle Hollow, I would imagine. Maybe this comes back. That'd be great. Team of War Shaman's cool too, but we're gonna we're gonna stick with the fixing here. Yeah, we have 23 cards right now, and I'm super satisfied with it. I love Pelt Collector, but I'm not going to take it over a solid dual land. Assassin's Trophy is fantastic. Blossoming Sands is fixing. Hmm. I'm gonna let you guys fix. I'm gonna, I'm gonna let you guys choose this one. I agree that I should probably take lands at this point. Yep. Ash Barons, that is fixing. Dragon Scale General is nuts. All right, we gotta make one cut now. Probably cutting one of these five drops, I would imagine. Drag Mangler, Gener I like Generous Gift for the sideboard, that seems great. Uh, what does this guy do? Destroy creature power three or less. This card's actually great. I'll take a Generous, ah, Price of Fame's also pretty good. Man, all three of these are good, this, this, and this. 
Prism, thank you so much for the resub. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. Price of Fame. Yeah, I like price here. Uh, moment of Craving is good. Probably going in the sideboard. Graveblade Marauder doesn't do much for us. It just happens to be a warrior. The warrior. Hard to hard If you survive, the warrior. Remember that song by Pep? Was that Pep Benatar, guys? <laughs> no, idiot. It's Scandal. God. Oh, Experiment 1 comes back? Is that better than Chronomaton? Chronomaton. I don't know. Herald of Anafenza came back? Oh, baby. All right, we can rip this Chronomaton out of existence, I guess. This even feels like an 18 land deck. I'm gonna probably play this. What does it say? Whenever another creature dies, put a 1 1 counter on it. Oh, wow. That's cool. Probably cut a Radiance Judgment, maybe. so many cuts to make I could see this I don't want to cut Emissary just because well I guess we do have Experiment 1 and Herald of Anafenza yeah I can see cutting Sultai Emissary I can get behind that I mean that still doesn't that still doesn't change that we need uh, two more cuts is there a Probably cut A4 drop. They're all good though. The Skinner is good for, uh, or the Chronomaton is actually good for Delirium for sure. I mean, we have Nissa's Judgment, which fights, we have Reach of Shadows, Price of Fame. Radiance Judgment. And Mortify. There's a lot of removal. And Dune Blast. I think Radiance probably the weakest. <clears throat> so we can cut that. Skullhunter does feel weak. It has no real synergy. But the problem is, like, we're cutting all our early drops, which is kind of... Uh...
This deck seems sweet. You're never going there. You're probably going like there. Uh, I like Chronomaton. I think we're okay with this. <laughs> Alright, so let's take a Gander. Let's see what's... Black seems like the least represented. These are all even. One, actually, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So 7, 7, 8, with 8 being the green. All right, so 4, 5, 6, 7 green sources here. Not as good. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So this is 3... Four, five, six, seven, seven white. Four, five, six, seven, black. And then four, five, six, seven, eight green, I think. Okay, so it's eight, seven, seven, which is actually pretty good. I'm okay with that. <laughs> this is what doing it feels like guys you ready we're gonna live this dream these scales are gonna be so hard if you know what i'm saying you should That's unfortunate. Because if we ah, if this came in a play on tap, we can play this guy next turn and activate it. Put two counters on that dude? Come on. Come on. Uh-oh. Ooh, Caves of Koilos. Always yield to all of these. More like Crapland, am I right? You are correct. Wow, that's true. He's right. Okay, I feel like we're doing okay here. Oh boy. Let's just play Armament Core here.
I mean, I'll trade this 1-1 one, one for this decorated champion. One, two, three, four. Next time we can play New Scrap Mob, which gets an extra counter. Oh my god. Yep. Trade with this 2-1. Two, 2-2. One. Two, two. Maybe I should have said big fan at the beginning. It will surely be your downfall, my friend. It will surely be your downfall. Now we're just going to have six here. Obsessive Skinner. So we could play Skinner and we can play High Sentinels. We're just going to attack for six here and play New Scrap Mob, I think. Oh, hi, Sentinels. Oh, hi, Mark. The land giveth and the land taketh away. Back at 20 again. Yeah, I really like these lands. Who was it complaining about them? Lamagoyf? Typical. Typical Lamagoyf. Bolster 2? Bolster draft? Um, I don't know what this is, but I'm sure I don't like it. not counter my beautiful bird. He is a beautiful bird. Do not counter my beautiful bird. Oh, you are going to do something shitty. Oh, I'm s my god, this card gets us so many times. It's crazy, dude. Eh, I guess we're just going to attack here. Killed your creature. I'm actually just going to put it on itself. Make it a 3 3. Oh, I guess we just win. All right, cool. <laughs> well, that was nice. That was looking good. Our deck is looking pretty good.
All right, so any of these good? Mm, I think we're actually just fine. I ordered a bunch of seven cannon prints. I'm stoked. I ordered one of the new. Where did you Where did you get them? Are they Does he have Is he on imprint? The warriors. Yeah, that sounds sick. I just have no more space for any prints. Uh, yeah, I'll keep this hand. Perfect. Beautiful. What's the absolute worst limited deck you've ever played? The limited deck? I have no idea. Worst limited format's probably Avacyn Restored. That said it was trash. But that's a pretty popular opinion. Everybody 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 knows that. Oh, look, we needed a three drop. Found a three drop. Yep, that's just fine. Hmm. 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 Dragon's game. I'm not gonna attack here because then they just they just block it. All bolster zero. Always you click a creature, bolster zero. Got him. Next turn we can elite scale guard on both of these guys, which is nice. Attack with both. Tap this guy down. I mean, assuming they don't kill it. That would be so sad. If they didn't kill it, I think we're good. Oh, it's bolster two. It only puts on one guy. I'm a dummy. It's still fine. It's, it's still okay. Don't disdainful stroke my creature. Oh, just let me go to the combat step, boy. I'm so afraid. I have no idea what to expect here. Ugh, crying out loud. Feels Batman. That just makes me want to cry. I guess it's okay.
Ooh, how big is that guy? One, two, three, four, five, six of the four four. When it dies, create four four jabronis. Fly me to the moon. Sorry, it's a legendary creature. I can kill this guy. I can play this and kill this. Wow, what a time to be alive. Oh, I forgot the surveil, graveyard, and top. Oh, boy. Uh, bolster two. We're going to bolster on to your boy. This one stupid recluse is really holding the fort down here. We're just getting in there. If they want to block, so be it. Get off the board. I mean, the alternative was actually uh, outlasting on this guy and then bolstering on the other guy. That's good. Well, they have to have something. Five to that guy? Oh, uh, yeah, we're just going to cast him normally. One, two, oh, isn't, does it do anything flips up? Oh, as it's turn face up, put five. Oh, yeah, so it's just five, five, sure. Or, one, two, three, one, two. Or you can just play both. Uh, I agree, Josh, I agree with that. They do blend together pretty easily when they're, when they're stacked on top of each other because there's no real border. I'm just going to play this guy. Disdainful stroke? If they go disdainful stroke and then we just could have avoided it by playing both of these, that'd be really sad. Good. I mean, our deck is good, but they also got kind of mana screwed there, so. I believe in us. Bring 
boom, boom, tick, tick. Um, yeah, this hand seems fine. Looking for action. Um, card just a very good, a very good card. Spider View, good games, man, good games. Yeah, you're you, you seem like you were stuck on lands there. I think our deck is good, but like, it didn't help that you were. A little bit, a little bit bottleneck there, so. Make a 2-2. Two -two. Reach of Shadows is broken. Destroy a creature that's one or more colors. That kills anything. It kills anything. Except for these, which is fascinating. Thank you. Secret Alien, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Welcome back. Welcome back. Oh, Prism 100, did I miss your sub? Thanks, greetings from Austria. Thanks for the YouTube content. Love the crossover episode with Everybody Loves Mike. Mike. <laughs> Thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. Really appreciate it. Sorry I missed that. Okay, well. I'm going to attack with this guy first because if they see the general, they're probably going to be more inclined to block. Whereas now they get the free counter. And now it kills neither of their creatures. We'll get there. I believe in us. Oh, that's fine. I hope they play one more creature and then we can Doom Blast eventually, but... Why wouldn't they kill the Dragon Scale General? They gotta have another way to kill this, right? Okay. <laughs> Seems good. Really could use some lands here. Okay, we're doing it. Four or five blocks, four or five. We take five, go to three. So let's see if we're just dead here. Can you do? Sure. 
temperature. Oh wow, this is going to be nuts if we hit a land. Oh, I still I forgot we still have to hit a land that comes into play untapped. So It's not it. Block block take 3 4. Block block take 3 4 5 6 7. sucks um sometimes you just don't hit the lands you need Well, they're just going to keep playing guys. <laughs> Fucking phenomenal. Oh, Jesus. Cool game. Moment of craving can come in. I'll just run forty one. Hand's not great, but it's very possible we can uh, draw things or just survive until a doom blast. What 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 problem is? Mm, bottom. See now we don't have to draw that. It's perfect. Okay, fucking fantastic. Bottom one land, draw two more. Seems great. Let's top deck a Hardened Scales or something. It's a DC. Siege Rhino. Hmm, that's fascinating. I'm tempted to actually just activate this guy. Let's do that.
<laughs> sure. This is a siege right now. Salamgar. You got it. <laughs> That'll do, pig. That'll do. Take five. Choose the creature. I'll choose this one. So long, little things. That's a good dude. Well, now they can just get Dragonlord Solemngar back. How come every time our opponent has Muldrotha, it's utterly unbeatable for us, but every time we have it, they just get rid of it immediately? That's kind of annoying. Well, I'll just play Sadis Dragon Lord Selimgar from my graveyard, because why not? Yep. This seems like a pretty easy choice. I don't know why you're deliberating on it. <clears throat> hey, look, you made the right choice. Good for you. I mean, they could literally just chump block here and then steal something else, which is kind of annoying. Yeah, you're right. It's not jumping, it's trading. That's I I understand. I was I just misspoke. I'm very familiar with Dragonlord Solomgar having death touch. They only have six cards in hand and one, two, three, four, five, six they can play from the graveyard, so they only have option they only have twelve things they can do. So that's okay. What do we have? Hold on. Uh, none. We have no options, so that's good. Yep, that's going to do it. That's all I need to see. Those are fun games. I had a good time. I had an absolute blast. I would actually, if I, if I, if I had my own personal hell, it would be literally just playing that match over and over and over where they get to land their Muldrotha every single game and kill all the things that we, we play. 
I did. I had a Dune blast. I had a Dune blast. Oh yeah, this is the hand. This is the hand we're keeping, guys. Just beautiful. <gasps> are the rumors true? What are the rumors? I do not need you. Uh, yes, it's definitely necessary. Otherwise, you have just cons limited. Yeah, you get three sets, but like it doesn't matter if it's a lot of cards. A lot of the cards are shit. They're all commons and uncommons that are not actually that great and limited, or they have no synergy with the set because they're just filler. Like, I mean, just because they're in the set doesn't mean they make a good set to draft, right? Like, We're talking about if the if the uh, cons expanded cube needs non cons cards, and it definitely does. Like you can't fill this with just all the cons cards because it's not a cube. That's just a set. You're just drafting the set. Then you, you might as well just then you might as well draft like uh, one pack of dragons of Tarkir, one pack of cons of Tarkir, and one pack of Fate Reforged, and it's basically the same thing. Right, just draft constant. Yeah, that's exactly the thing, right? Like you you're supplementing the archetypes that are that are present in the set that are not fully fleshed out because they couldn't be because there's no way you can make uh, a set like that. Just make a hundred out of three hundred and sixty cards Doom Blast. Yeah, that's a that's actually that's uh I'm unhappy with the with the way the draft is going, so let's just blow everything up.
So Abzad Ascendancy doesn't do much. I guess it lets us trade here. Dragon Scales in general also doesn't do that much. I mean, we could bluff and try to get through here, but I don't think I don't think it's going to go well. Well, now we're not attacking. <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah, we have Corpus Jack Medicine here. Thank you. Untrum Tuna, what's going on? Welcome back, buddy. Thank you so much. Really appreciate you. Yeah, that's fine. Worth noting, I'm getting real tired of this friggin' Mantis Rider. When was the last night at Howie's? A while ago. It's been a while. Probably a couple months. So I'm pretty sure we're dead here. They're probably going to attack for five and find some way to deal with six damage. That's my guess.
Yep. <laughs> well, might as well get in there. And might as well flip because we have nothing else to do. All right, well, as long as this isn't a 3-3 three, three underneath. Okay, this actually is pretty good because now we can keep this guy, sack this guy. We stay at one, but it's pretty decent. All right, so as long as they don't burn us out, I think we actually just turn the corner pretty well. Are we doing it? Are we living the dream? Is it happening, guys? Guys, is it happening? Guys, is it happening? Oh, God. Wow, shut up now. I don't know what you... What, are you okay? What, are you having a stroke? Why are you being so aggressive? a lot of pressure sorry that was meant for my dad wrong box <laughs> oh jesus crying out loud why you exist i don't understand how you exist Wow, I have no idea how we won that game at one life. I mean, I do. Solid strategies, guys. But that was a little bit that was a little bit too close for comfort if you ask me. Oh, this hand is fantastic. I will keep it. Faux show. So, I think we're actually going to go uh, Temple first. Because Temple lets us act, put both of these guys on turn two and then also outlast on turn three. And none of the other... We can go turn one, experiment one, turn two, Herald, turn three. Um... Yeah, this guy's fine. It's very good. Do we need it? I don't know. Yeah, we can keep it. We don't actually have a reason not to keep it, so. Yeah. 
Yeah, cons is a great format. All right, so we'll go experiment one. Crutch Jr., what's going on, buddy? Welcome back. Where has all the time gone? That's what I ask myself every day. Next time we can play this gentleman, or we can just outlast here. Yeah, evolve triggers on either one as long as they're as long as they're bigger in some way. Oh, a little a little Shu Yun. Ooh, that was a good draw. Now we don't have to uh we can outlast here. Three two, huh? We play our creature units. I'm just sending this experiment one in. Hey, time flies when you're having fun, they say. Do they say that? I've never heard this before in my life. I think you're making stuff up. I'll take three. Oh, they didn't attack. Well then. Oh, oh boy. Okay. This guy is prowess, so if they cast anything, we're just not in great shape here, so I'm just going to pass. Give me something with counters. Nothing. Nothing with counters. Nothing to do with counters. This guy's pretty good, though. I will assume you have a counter spell. I haven't seen many. There's not many counter spells in this format.
I feel like we're doing quite well here. Uh, click a creature. Sure, it's got to be these two, right? Oh, it's bolster two. It's not bolster two different things. Ah, uh, that's why I had to pick. That makes sense. <laughs> oh, our board seems good. Reality shift of that guy. Sure. Caves of Coelos. Nice. Uh, well, it's a 4-3, so the only creature I could see attacking with is this guy. Whereas next turn we probably just crush. Yeah, I don't foresee this guy being a great trade for Shun Shu Yun. Especially when we just kill this guy and kill something else. Remember, if you counter the chickens... If you count your chickens before they hatch, then they'll resent you until they turn 18. Is that true? A little bit of chicken trivia there. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, boy. Not my Anafenza. Not my Herald of Anafenza. Stop. Get out of here. Stop. You're being a little, you're being a little biscuit. Dang it. He's being a little biscuit right now. He just keeps begging for food. Attack for 10. Okay. Seems good. Get out of here, you little biscuit. Did you just throw your cat? No, he's on the ground. <laughs> Where am I going to throw him? Doesn't even make any sense. Uh, I think we just won the game. Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on Twitch, on Patreon. Check me out on Manatraders.com. You can find a link and a promo code in the description for 20% off your first three months. And you can check out CoolStuffInc.com. I had an article up this Wednesday about uh, Mono White Legends in Modern. It was pretty sweet. Head over to the article. Definitely check it out. Give it a read and leave a comment in the in the comment section. And that uh, reflects well. It's engagement, guys. Appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. I'll see you next time, guys. Thanks for watching.